I'm doing my speech over how to be successful in an interview. Um, so how many of you have been to an interview? Everyone. Almost. <laughs> okay. How many of you actually prepared for your interview? Not so many. I personally am one of those who didn't prepare for the interview. I'd get the call and I'd wait till the interview and then I'd figure out what I was going to wear or whatever. Not even know where the place was or anything. So then the more I got to doing interviews, the more I realized how important they were to prepare for them. Um, I actually, over the summer, was going to do an internship through IUS, and they gave me this internship guide. And within this internship guide, it has anywhere between how to prepare for the interview, what to do after the interview, what to do before the interview, and various tips like that. So if you haven't ever went to the internship, I would recommend it. <coughs> Um, my poster I just made to um, provide some stats or stats about what to do during an interview and what not to do. When you are going into your interview, you need to be dressed professionally. Depending on the job, it will be either khakis or slacks, or sometimes you're wearing a suit and tie. Um, for girls, you don't want anything bright or flashy. They're not into anything trendy or fashionable. Um, fingernails, it should be clear that you should only have one ring on each hand. Earrings, only one. Don't have your whole ears covered up or anything like that. Um, some of the studies, or studies, some of the facts that I read about, um, they did a survey over 20,000 bosses and they said that within the first 90 seconds of the interview they make their decision on whether you're going to get the job or not. So they base it on the way you walk in, the way you're dressed, and the way that you prepare for the interview. If you go in there and you have no idea about the company, if you don't have any idea even about the job you just saw it and applied for it, they're not going to want you. You want to go in there with confidence. Another thing that I read, they will decide between two people based on the dress or how they're dressed. So if somebody comes in in jeans and a t-shirt and somebody else comes in in slacks and a nice shirt, they're going to pick the person in the slacks because they went out of their way to make yourself look more professional. The average length of an um, interview is 40 minutes. I've went in some interviews and in the first 10 minutes, they either tell you you have the job or not, or they can go up to an hour. I've had a phone call interview, I've had a Skype interview. There's various types of interviews that will point you in the direction that you're wanting to go to. Um, a big thing with the interviews, um, I've printed out copies for everyone, but if you don't really want it, it's no big deal. Um, your resume. Your resume is huge when it comes to your interview process. Um, I got that off of the IUS Career Development Center website. Um, it just goes from your age, you write your address, you tell them your qualifications. When you're writing about your qualifications and at your jobs, you never want to say, I did something. So you never want to include the word I. You want to use very grammatical terms. As, you don't want to say I or talk to someone. You want to say communicated. Or they want to know that you're going to go above and beyond for the company. Um, some of the things you should not do at the interview is avoid eye contact. You definitely should not just stand there crossing your arms. They want you to have good posture, standing up straight. There's um, over a fourth of those bosses that were surveyed said that the handshake was too weak for their, I guess, acceptance for it. They were not happy with how they shook their hand. And to know that that could determine whether you got the job or not is very interesting. Um, I did this speech because I know how I was whenever it came to preparing for an interview, and I was very, I guess I slacked off big time. So the reason I did this was to provide you guys information in hopes that you will be more successful in your interviews and that you will know what to do in the future.